All right, I had a customer come in, and he wants it's plastic. He wants one of those made out of stainless steel. So he doesn't want the horn. He's got another horn he's going to use, but he does want that that crown on there. That the radius because he's going to put that uh, emblem back on the new piece so that's um, that's what we're going to do and um, I already went over and dug out a big piece of 304 sawed it off I'm going to put that piece back up and what I'm going to do, first off, is I'm going to make that go in there like that. Take these off, blow it out, put that in there. I've got to make a drawing of what the back side of this thing looks like. Um, figure out a way to thinking I'm going to come down through here and put a couple tiny set screws. Uh, that's what his suggestion was. If I go down through here, it's too far. I think, uh, I think it hits at the intersection point. I have to do some measuring, but um, anyways, that's the job and um, gonna make that lip this is very exaggerated this is gonna be 125 and then that radius I gotta get this little cover off of here somehow without tearing this thing up ooh I need a knife pry bar something Something sharp. I don't know about that. I'm gonna have to work on this one for a second. Oh, I think I got it. Oh, I'm under it. It's like opening a Open a present without breaking it. Oh, don't break it. 
Oh, you know what? I bet there's a um, in the back of it. I bet if I clip these over and took it out that way, there's a the drill hole for that emblem. Let's pop these out this way. Let's see what's on the back of that guy. <clears throat> we can always put them back in. Uh, there we go. Come on now. Oh, let's see, we got that contactor. Let's see, a little nut. <coughs> That's how it stays on there. Huh. Well. There's other ways about doing this. I could measure how tall this is right here. And then basically subtract it from here. Or I could wing it. Keep cutting smaller and smaller until it's good. Hope I don't break this. That would be bad. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Here we go, here we go. We're almost there. No breaking. No breaking. Oh, is it a is it a weird one? I think it's where it will only go one way. Proprietary. I don't know. You guys are gonna have to bear with me on this because I'm shooting these videos for my boy, RJ. So he can find out what dad does all day when he's at daycare. That looks like it. Proprietary. Non-equal. Meep beep. Beep beep. So what I gotta figure out is this height from here to here and then subtract a little bit. Uh, I could wing it. Or I could put it up on the height gauge. This is the way you kind of. This is this is bad. This is bad. Straws and oh, that's bad. So I could put it up here on these and touch that off the top. That would work. Spin this guy around. Over here. That gives me a height. Uh, yeah, one point five fifty. Look at that, 1.550. And then take 1.550 and subtract. Ooh, I'm gonna say about sixty-five thousandths. 1.550. No way. Point one. Oh, minus an inch for the, minus 1.0 for the block, and then minus an eighth for the, this right here. So we're at 550, uh, 425.425, and then minus our 60. So we're at 0.3. 75. That's good. We'll try that one out. We're going to go draw that up at 2.5 375 on our Z depth. 2.5 Yeah, we'll make that 2.5 
Ooh. Hey. 3.5. We'll correct that right there. So that's diameter. So it's going to be. It's not gonna get there unless I wipe that out. Ooh, I probably could. I don't like getting the WNMG down in there though. Let's just see what we got. We got an inch. Z.050. That's the start point for the G72 action at 30 a pass. Oh, let me check how fast we're going. 400 stainless. Good. See what kind of kryptonite I got in there. Oh, WNMG. Here we go. Single block. I guess I could probably put some light. But anyway, there we go. Come down the face path. It might not even hit. That's when you go into it. Fallen balls up there. So, we move in a little bit and come down again. Simple G72. Let's see if it can do 
got five to go. This might not clean up. I've got my RPM set way high on this thing. I don't know why. Must have been using some, uh, some stuff. So we can see that it didn't clean up right down in there. So I'm going to move it in about, I don't know, 20. 20 is probably good. Alright, program reset. I'm going to go offset. I'm going to do that W.020, which is Z. Z. This needs to be the same as that. Just, just for grins. Now, edit, program, reset, go, 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 gadget, go. And we can put off stop on and single block off because we've already run it. Oh! Sorry about that. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into a G71 and I'm gonna turn the OD. Oh, right there. Oh, we got some damage. Ow. I gotta flip that. And it just so happens that my is car guy came and where'd they go? Where'd they go? Oh, oh it is them. Oh, CNMGs. Anybody want to just donate me inserts? I use them all the time and I don't have very many. Like Steve, the machinist, you know, if you've got some laying around, you want to donate. I'm just saying, just saying. Let's go back to my cubby hole. Oh, where's my WNMGs? I don't want to change that tool holder. Boneyard. Oh, fractured. Man, I don't want to change that tool holder. But I got another edge. Oh, I know why I put that in there. Because I had to get a particular angle. There they are. <laughs> WNMG 432 and uh, I don't know Dia Edge can you say freebies so I'm gonna roll this little insert here I'm gonna set you over here for a minute well I do that I run my stuff. Stick about two inches out in front. Hit this. That is super fast crash switch. Let it go out there and it's going to show me what it's going to do. It turns the feed rates into rapids and the rapids into feeds. There's the final profile. As long as it doesn't do a uh, tool change here or anything like that, we're all good to go. Take the two inches out and run the part. 
They're getting to look a lot like Christmas. Everywhere we go. This is really important here. This is important. You want to put some in that where? I don't know, 30? U.030? See how it changed from minus to positive? That would be 30. U is X, W is E. So I went up just to make sure that I don't scrap and depart. Let me put you back over here. Remember, I'm working on these video things, so it, it'll get better. I hope. Hard day. One day you're going to be able to do this. Did my, uh, so I'll say I got to take that two inches. Go back to where we were. Oh. Oh, shrapnel. There's my inch. Start the face. Cut. Actually, it's a little bit of a cut. That cut is it. That cut is 3.515. And as long as I don't hit over there, I'll be good. As long as I don't hit over there, I'll be good. We got ooh, 175 more to go. Woo! 90 to go. Oh. Oh, it's going to be close, folks. Oh, we might get a little brrrr. I don't like doing that. I think I'm close. I think I'm good. Oh, we're good. It clears once. It clears all the time. Boom. Ah. All right. I'm just going to cut this. I got to keep to it. See what we got. A little 45 there. I probably should put one there too and check the size. But this is the back side. This is what's going to go into the hub. So um, I'm going to measure it. We'll. Okay. What I did was I put a put a chamfer on that second diameter because I'm lazy and I don't want to get a file out. So. What it's gonna do is it's gonna just run that whole thing again and then clip the little chamfer right there on that that one right about there. I can go into super fast crash mode. 
I didn't take anything off the diameter, so it's not going to hit nothing until the very end, and it'll probably be just a little pressure cut. So here we go, one more, one more. There we go. There was our front chamfer. Take pass. We come up. That wall. Put the corner. There's our chamfer. I can stop it right now. I definitely can. I just stop it. Pull it out. And then there's that chamfer. Just a little bit. So there's our part, the start of it. First half. I know, I know, my drawings kind of stink on this one. Man, I'm telling you, RJ, you just gotta you just gotta do a job, you get a job, you do a job. It's kind of hard for me to even stop to film this thing right now because I uh I want to get this job done and go on to the next one and get paid. I'll tell you what, while that runs out, um, I'm mostly making these videos for my boy. You know, he's seven, and he doesn't know what dad does at work. So, uh, I figured this would be a good way for uh, him to figure out what I do while he's over there learning alphabets and stuff. Um, I'm letting that run out. I put a way bigger chamfer on that second level to try to clear that out just a little bit more in that corner and took 5,000 saw of everything so we should be ready to flip around and grab on one of these two diameters and then put that big radius on the front of it and I think I'm going to use a G71 to do that in other words I'm going to be cutting down and then form the radius that way and then I'll probably just take it over to the south bend over here chuck it up to put that little detail cut that's in the radius over here to make it look like it make it look like it had a horn but it doesn't have a horn but um, anyways I'm gonna try to put some content on just for my boy I don't care about y'all <laughs> if you learn something great if you don't this might not be the channel for you There it is. Like that, we're gonna go right down in there like that. Now I'm gonna chuck this up and true that draft angle out of that corner right there. And that's where I'm gonna go with my set screw. And I probably could take this, hollow a lot of this out. Probably just go over here to this radial arm drill and put it over there and drill a big hole in it. Or I could take it to the lathe and wall that out just to lighten it up because it is pretty heavy. So, part two tomorrow. Um, right now it's, it's 5.30 and I'm ready to go home tomorrow.
just like anything else. Center drill. Okay, so here we are. Got it set up in the super spacer, stupid spacer. And um, uh, gonna do a M5 by point oh, a 0 0.8 thread, three times. So, in the center drill. Wiggly, wiggly, wiggly. And then move it 120 degrees. I'm gonna do that and I'll be back here in just a little bit. This one that's taking a picture of it, you see what I'm saying? So you could splice in me running over there and getting some oil. I'm working on it, people. Give this dude a quick little parts wash and um, hey, ah. we're over here in the parts washer. Hey, that's the clutch for the 12 valve, 12 valve Cummins. All that. Wash the tapping fluid off with a bunch of tapping fluid. It's just... Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's nice. Oh, look at that big old burr on there. I guess I gotta... Probably should spin it up and... On the bench for the final deal. Alright. We're gonna go ahead and finish this project up. Our beautiful blueprint. I went ahead and on the back side I clearance it down a little bit, it was kind of heavy and I don't didn't know how far his little screw went through so I made it like that one is and so fits in there just fine, he's got three little set screws oh, sorry about that little set screws, set screws, set screw the only thing left is to write an old invoice out Right, you got to do this, keep track of things. Put the old stamp on it. Boom. I will see you on the next installment of Half A Free Holy's Machine Shop. <laughs>